sung in engineering stand-up meetings every morning around the world, around the country. This week's chip shortage, Lady Ada, is ST. And um, you were saying it was a little bit like uh, Mad Max around here. So I have a little clip of who runs Barter Town. Who runs Chip Shortage Town? Who runs Barter Town? Who runs Barter Town? You know who. Say. Mask Blaster. I think the refresh button runs. Barter Town or Electronic Shortage Town. So I mean, it really is Barter. I mean, it's every, everyone's just like scrounging around for yeah. whatever they can get. It's like a. It's we'll like get a the gasoline. Yeah, it's a gasoline, but yeah. it said it's chips that you need to fuel your projects. All uh, right, so it's ST this week. So this week, we're actually doing a favor for our BFFs over at MicroPython. We were chatting with them more about that later. Happy nine years old, Everything's MicroPython. Great. We're going to talk about MicroPython in a big way in our Python on hardware segment. Um, but we're doing a solid, as they say. Yes, because um, they need micro, chips. MicroPython needs <laughs> chips because MicroPython, you know, we have like 4,000 products. So, you know, if we can't get one thing, it's okay, we'll get something else. Um, and we can also put a lot of money into um, inventory and, and ordering ahead of time. But they're, they have one product or two products, really, and one is the Pi Board. Um, and the Pi Board has an STM32 F405 on it. And they really, really need some chips. And this is an important project, um, and not just to promote ST, but to keep the Python hardware community going because um, selling Pi boards is how MicroPython supports and um, funds a lot of the development that they do. So it's really important that they get chips. Um, so our, our chip shortage video this week is uh, to ST. ST, please, please, please uh, get MicroPython 500 to 3,000 of these STM32 F405 RGT6s. Uh, they desperately need them. It's going to, you know, they haven't been able to get them for a long time. Um, they desperately need them in order to keep uh, MicroPython going and to keep the funding going so that they can uh, continue the development um, that people who buy ST microcontrollers use. They're doing uh, so much free development for you. I think, I don't even think you should charge them for the chips. I think you should just send them a reel well, for free. I don't, no, you know, no one's asking for anything free. It's just like. No, I don't know. It, it's worth know, asking. Yeah, so I guess here, since. <laughs> Maybe you, if you can't buy chips, can you, can you get since, free chips? Since you're a domain <laughs> expert, as they say in the biz lady, where do you think these chips are going? Um, I think these are going into a lot of products. I mean, ST, STM chips are very popular. They're used in industry. I don't think they're necessarily going into automotive, but I think they're going into a lot it of industrial seems, products. This seems to be the default. But, you know, you hear about, like, oh, people, there, there's not manufacturing. People aren't building as much stuff. So, like, where is it going? It's mysterious still to me. Yeah, and they're also, you know, there, there are, these chips are available, but the prices are, like, three times, five times yeah. as high. And, and MicroPython can't support that. They need to be able to sell the boards at a price that people will purchase. And so that's yeah. why it's important that ST provides the chips um, and not to go on the secondary market where, where you can get untrustworthy uh, chips. Yeah. They could be not true. They could be, um, you know, fake chips that are rebranded. Um, so they need genuine parts and they need them soon. So this is yeah. our, our chip shortage request with our catchy tune. Yeah, and we'll send this out to ST and our contacts there and uh, maybe um, they have some small allocation that they can help MicroPython with. I don't, it's not even for me. I don't want the chips. Yeah. I'm good. They need the chips. If they sent us the chips, we would just send them to, that's right. to uh, Damien and MicroPython. That's right. So anyways, that's uh, this week's chip shortage. Take it tuned.